Hello everyone, welcome to Pep Coding. So today in this video, we are going to discuss another question uh, based on tree that is burning tree. So according to its name, uh, you can identify or you can just uh, have a vague idea that what this question is actually going to be. So let's say we have a tree, binary tree, something like this, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L and M. So let's say this is our binary tree. I will just make it more visible. So let's say this was a, this is our binary tree. Now what is this actually this question is actually asking to us? This question is saying that if I start a fire at this node, let's say at ith node, then at which time or uh, what will be the maximum time that the fire will take to burn the whole tree? Okay, so the question is that if I start burning this node and it takes one unit of time to reach, that is one unit of time to reach here, one unit of time to reach here and one unit of time to reach here and so on. As I go up or as I go down, it will take time that is going to be a one, one unit more than the previous unit or the previous time. Okay. So what I'm actually trying to say here, we can see that if here I'll, uh, I start the fire from this node, then to burn or the fire to reach uh, the fire takes time to reach here of one unit. That is the time taken by the fire to reach to the J node is one unit the time taken by the fire to reach till k is one unit now from here k to l time taken by the fire to reach is one unit but with respect to i time taken to reach uh, time uh, taken by the fire to reach l is two unit so we have to keep i in uh, i as i as the starting node and from there we have to calculate that what is the maximum time to burn the whole tree which means that i'll show you that from here it will take time of two seconds or two units here also it will take two units from now from i to reach e it will take one unit and from e to reach h it will take one unit but from i to reach h it will take two units because first fire will travel here then fire will travel here right now if this much is clear to you all now let's move further from e to reach here that is from i to e and then e to c it takes two unit then it again takes three unit to reach here from from c to here it will take how many units how much units it will take three units and now from uh, a to b it will take four units from b to f it will take five units and from b to g it will take five units right this means that if there is a node and it has two branches then the fire will simultaneously that is fire will take the equal amount of time to reach both of its child this means that the tree is actually burning in which manner the tree is actually burning in this manner in bfs manner that is level wise the tree is actually burning in level wise order that means first this will burn then these two will burn that the fire will spread simultaneously to these branches and from here the fire will spread simultaneously to these two branches and from here to here we can see that it is a problem of bfs that is the fire is going to spread level wise but we are what actually doing here we are actually traversing in dfs that is uh, we are doing depth for search first this problem can be solved using or can be showed using bfs also but uh, here for this problem we are going to use recursive approach so recursive approach is nothing but rdfs so with this i hope that the question was clear to you all that i'll keep it as it is here the question is that if i start fire from here that is ith node or any node in the given tree then what is the maximum amount of time it is going to take to let light the fire or to burn the whole tree so here we can say that max time that it is taking is total 5 seconds or 5 unit of time right 
five unit of time so now let's discuss the approach that what is uh, what we are going to do in this question let's see if this is our binary tree if this is our binary tree and we start our fire at this position that is at the ith node then how much time it is going to take to burn its lower half let's see first that okay so for that we need a stack we are going to discuss a recursive approach therefore we are going to use what we are going to use a stack okay now in this stack first make some lines okay now here you can see that from i first we make a call to its left child that is the fire is going to first spread here that is to left towards the left it took one unit of time so here we will maintain a count of time that is one unit of time right similarly from here it returned back here or sorry i'll say when it make a call to left child it is going to be here j and that first here it was zero second because i started fire from here only so it took zero seconds to burn this now for the fire the time taken by the fire to spread till j is going to be one unit of time right one unit of time now j will call to its left that is the fire will try to spread further but it will see that there is this is the end of the tree so this will not uh, go anywhere that is from right this will, uh, this will not go anywhere now currently my max time i can say max time is nothing but well, first it was zero but now it is updated with this one right we are going to update this max time at each level when whenever we are going to get a maximum value so both the calls for left and right are done for j so uh, j will wipe out of the stack that means that we have returned to ith position now i will make a call to right that is the fire is going to spread from this this branch now to go here it took how much time to reach k it took one unit of time now from k to reach l k will call whom to its left child that is going to be l so from to uh, from k to reach l it took two unit of time as it took two unit of time my max time will update so my max time will be two that means to reach l it took two unit of time now left will call make a call to its right child uh, sorry left child and right child but there was nothing here this means that this is the end of the tree with this both the calls for l is done it is going to wipe out and before wiping out it will going to return what it will going to return to k so now currently we are having time as one that is the fire that is going to spread from here is going to start with k uh, one unit of time which means that if a fire starts to spread below the tree from k position then it is going to take some time that is that time is going to start from one unit of seconds or can say one unit of time but my max time is going to remain two as it is right now from here it is going to go here that is to m to till m that is the right call and at m it take two seconds this two and this two uh, this two is not going to replace this two because we can say that max of two comma is uh, two comma two is nothing but two only therefore this is going to remain same as it is now m m is going to make a call to left and right both the calls are done it is going to return because there was this was the end of the tree this was end of the tree now this is going to return here right to k both the calls for k are done it is going to return here it is going to return i to i now both the calls for i is also done it is going to wipe out of the stack okay so this this max time 2 tells me that to burn this lower half of the tree it took me two unit of time we can say it as it to burn the lower half, half of the tree that is from i till m and l it take me two unit of time that is two seconds let's let's consider the time unit as sec in seconds so it took me two seconds max time is updated to two seconds now i have to find that what will be the time it will take 
to burn this tree that is the upper half tree okay so now to find this what we are going to do let's say this was for lower half tree right this stack was for lower half tree let's make another stack i'll, I'll minimize this stack i'll just minimize this stack this was for lower half consider this stack as for lower half we'll create another stack in red color this is going to be for upper half tree okay this is going to be a stack for upper half tree now what is actually going to be happening here let's say if if you have seen the previous video that is the previous question that was find node to root path in that and uh, in that question we have used the concept of blocker node so what we used to do if we want to find uh, here also we are going to use the same concept i'll just give you give you a recall and give a reference using this question only let's say i am currently standing at this position that means the fire is at this position from where the fire came fire came from i to this position which means that this branch is already burned now the fire will spread to this branch that is it will go to h now again will that fire will can is it possible that again the fire will go to i no it is not possible because that that part of the tree is already burned therefore there is no meaning in burning that part again and again so therefore for e we have to send this i as in blocker node this means if if a parent or if a node if a node receives fire from below of from fire from fire from its child then it does it it should not travel to that child again because that child is has already burned therefore there is no meaning uh, there is no meaning uh, to burn that child again and again so with this we are going to use blocker node concept here so let's say from here uh, i'll just go back okay now we are at zero so from now so we are at i that is with zero uh, uh, zero uh, unit of time that is zero second of time now the fire reaches here to e to e the fire reaches this means that this this connection has already been already burned down so to reach e one unit of time was used right now from here e will the fire will travel to the left of e that is to h so it made a right will be a sorry it made a left call that is it made a left call and it got to h and from h it took how many time uh, how many units of time it took two seconds so at h it took two seconds now h made call to left and right there was nothing so it is going to return here this means that h is going to be wiped out of the stack right now at this point when e tries to make a call or the fire tries to spread to the right part it sees that it has already burned this means that this part has already been burned down this is going to be burned down and to burn this whole uh, to burn this uh, downwards part that means the bur to burn this this lower half of the tree it took two unit of time that is two seconds so we have already updated it with two seconds so for now let's consider that here what was here it was i it was i here and i is being sent it as blocker node which means that i is already burned down so we are not going to go uh, to i again okay so i hope that this was clear uh, i hope that i was able to make myself clear that why we are not going to travel to i again now from here e will go to this position that means from zero and it took time of one second you can see that one second now both the calls for e are, e are done therefore this is going to be uh, going to go to c right now we are doing the reverse calls okay actually in the stack this is this this is this is going to look as 
we are going to for, for come come to c from a that is from a we are going to jump to c then to e then to i but right now we are going in the backwards direction just to show you that how the fire is going to spread to its parent and how the fire is not going to travel back to the same position that is to the same part of the tree where it has already burned okay so with this it it came to e and it took two unit of time so here we can see that for, for c it took two unit of time c has a left child it called to its left child to reach here it took three unit of time so to reach d it took three seconds now d will tell left and right is null null therefore both the calls for d are done it will wipe out of the stack right now currently we can see that here we saw that there was three return right for d it took three unit of time therefore our max time will also increment or max time will be also uh, changed that is it will become three right we have to keep a track of max time also because we have to in the end we have what we have to return we have to return uh what will be the maximum time to burn both the uh, the to burn the whole tree right now this is done now for c left call is done for the right side for right call we are sending this e as a blocker node for with respect to c because from e only this fire has spread it so there is no no this this means that this e has already been burned e and its children has already so therefore the fire will not travel to e again right now both the calls for c have done and similarly it will go to a with to a it is going to go with three so with three we are uh, we are at currently we are at a for a this c is going to be blocker node and this 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 connection is already be burned this branch is already burned which means that this tree is already burned right with this we can see that how this tree is burning this tree is already one lower half of the tree is already one max time took till till now max time took is three here you can see that to reach a it took three and three is already here so we are not going to update or we are not even though we update it is going to remain three only now from a we go to b that is from a we go to left child right child is already blocker node therefore we are not going to go there so for b it took how many time how many units of time it took four units of time so this is going to update to four right now from b it is going to go to f it will be five updated to five that is from a it is going to be b left it is going to be with four seconds and f it is going to make call to left and right it is going to be nothing but here time was five therefore we updated the time now this is going to wipe out of the stack we are going to fall back to b now from b it is going to make a call to right child to right child when it makes a call it is going to go to g left and right it is going to have the five unit of time this means that we reach the fire reach to g with five unit, units of time we have already updated therefore both the calls for g are done that is null null it is going to be null and null therefore g uh, work for g is also done this means that this part is also uh, this is going to fall from here to here and both the calls are done from here to here this means that total unit of time taken to burn the whole tree is that is this is part is already burned because we fall fall back to a this part is already burned and a is already burned therefore we can say that total unit of time taken to burn this whole sorry total unit of time uh, taken to burn the whole tree is five unit of time that is five seconds now we can see that uh now now let's see that this this stack if this stack was confusing to you all let's try to understand that how actually this stack is going to work how we are going to use concept of blocker node and node to root path actually what we are going to do if let's consider this is our tree let's consider this was our tree what we are going to do actually I'll, I'll make a stack here right 
actually we are going to travel from a to its left side first we are going to see that at which node we have to start fire let's say we have to start fire at i okay let's say we have to start fire at i then we are going to search for the ith node that is from the root node we are going to search for the ith node this is nothing but find to uh, find node to root path okay so for this we are going to fall to c that is c then we are going to go to e then we are going to go to i the moment we get i what we are going to do we are going to call a new function that function will start the start burning tree and it is going to return us the maximum time that is it is going to return us the maximum time required to uh, required uh, to burn the whole tree okay so for e so for i it is going to give us the time maximum time for to, uh, time to burn this tree but from here the max time that is going to be a global variable or we can say that a static variable it is going to keep on updating here but from i what we are going to be let's see from from a to b that is from a to c so from a to c it is going to go then it is going to go to e then it is going to i from i as we encounter the i we make a new stack that is we make a new function that is going to return us what that is going to return us nothing but that is going to return us the total time taken to burn the whole tree that is to burn the whole tree this this tree sorry to burn this tree with respect to i that is going to return us that and similarly then after this we are going to pass this i as a blocker node for e and we are going to find that what will be the time taken to burn this whole tree with respect to e after this we are going to do nothing but we are going to again send e as a blocker node for c and we are going to see that what is the total time taken by the c the uh, total time taken to burn this whole tree with respect to c after that we are going to do nothing but we are going to keep c as in blocker node and we are going to see that for a from a to burn this whole tree how much unit of time is taken and as this whole tree is burned we are going to uh, uh, the a is also going to be burned down so therefore this is this is how the stack is going to be there will be two function stack that is that means there there will be two recursive calls right that uh, one is going to find that where this this node is present that is the starting node is present and from there how this how from uh, from the starting node how the fire is going to spread out and what will be the maximum time so let's code this question after that we will draw a small dry run now let's code this question uh, first we are going to declare what we are going to declare a static variable that is going to be okay, static that is going to be named as max max time or let's say total time total time this is actually going to be the total time that is going to be taken by the whole tree to burn okay that is take uh, that is going to be taken by the fire to spread and burn the whole tree right now here what we are going to do we are going to first make a call but first you let's use this total time initialize this total time zero here and now we are going to make a call to a function that is going to return us the um uh, that is going to actually do the work uh or do the work of traveling to the uh, fire node and start uh, burning the whole tree okay so for here let's name it as burning tree one and here we are going to pass what root and our fire node from here we are going to return return what return total time okay we are going to actually update total time on every stage as we encounter a time value that is going to be greater or that is going to be maximum in the whole program we are going to update the total time with that okay so here what is actually our uh, program program going to do it is going to be of static static in and let's name it as burning tree one and it is going to receive what it is going to receive three node of root and then an integer value of fire node now this function is going to be 
similar to the find to uh, find node to root path okay what we what we are actually doing in find to root uh, find uh, node to root path it was nothing but we are taking uh, two variables we are making we, we were making call to left we are making call to right right side and we are actually finding the value that is passed here we are going to find that value uh, in the first in the left subtree in the right subtree and wherever we get we are going to return from there right so here first we will say take it as left or let it be lt and it is going to be what what this lt is going to be uh, what is this lt going to mean this is going to mean that lt is equals to time from left side that is left time okay and now we are going to write we are going to call this function burning tree function and we are going to call it with what we'll part uh, we'll part pass a root as left and our fire node similarly we have to do this for right function that is right subtree we are going to get time from i'll just write here right we are going to find the total time taken to burn the whole right subtree okay and after this after both of this we have to do something but actually before that let's write first first return minus one this minus one tells us that we were not able to find the root uh, the fire node in this whole in this whole tree okay so if the let's say if uh, my tree is containing a values such as integer values and my fire node is something that is not uh, available in this tree therefore this tree will not burn so here what is going to be our base case our base is going to base case is going to be first if we reach to null that is we reach to the end of the tree then return minus one second base case is going to be if root is equal equal to fire node then do some work what 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 we have to do first return one this means that we have found the fire node and from here call a second function let name it as burn tree and what this function is actually going to do this function is actually going to give us the total time taken by uh, total time uh, taken by the fire to burn the whole tree with respect to this current node so here we will be passing root here we'll be passing time as zero initially time is going to be zero and here we'll be passing a null node this null node is nothing but uh, this is going to be our block blocker node okay similarly we have to do here also if we receive left time as non-negative value that is if the left time that uh, the time that is coming from the left side is a non-negative value then we have to do this means that the burning node or the st starting node from uh, the node from where the fire is going to start is present in where in the left side so from there we have to start burning and now if, if let's see i'll show you here okay so from from this e when we made a call to this i we got to know that from i this is our so this is our node from where we have to start the fire this whole node has been burned okay now what we are going to do we are going to pass this i as a blocker node and we are going to we are going to spread the fire to those parts of this e where the fire was not reached earlier so i hope i was able to make myself clear what we actually going to do is if then if uh, the right time left time is going to be a non negative value then we are going to call this burn function burn tree function with current root and time as what time as current time with null node as root dot left 
this means that we have already burned the left tree left subtree now we have to check for the right subtree that is we have to now spread the fire on the right subtree and now for return left subtree plus one okay same thing we have to do for right subtree here instead of left we are going to pass rt rt here we are going to pass right and everything is okay here we are going to pass rt pass t okay now this function is done now what we have to do we have to write this function function which function static void burn tree now what is this burn tree receiving this burn tree is receiving a tree node of what root time right int time we are sending time then then we are setting uh, sending the blocker node that is tree node will name it as block now what we have to do first what is going to be our base case if the current node root is equal equal to null or root is equal equal to blocker node then we don't have to go to that position then we have to just return from there now what we are going to do we are going to make a call to our left uh, left side and right side that is we are going to pass root dot left time as time plus one and blocker node as same as uh, same as blocker uh, same the blocker node is going to be same for the current current node similarly right time plus one and blocker node is going to be the same only now here we have to have every time we have to update our max time that is total time so total time is equals to mat dot max of mat dot max of what mat dot max of my total time that is current time with time right with this our function is almost over let's try to run this code and see if it is giving us any syntactical error or not and it is saying that expected identifier okay we didn't initialize it with any type value let's run this code and it is saying that okay, okay yes this is our mistake where in line number 31 31 here we it is going to be root dot val similarly is it going to be anywhere else yes 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 okay let's try to run this code if it is going us the correct answer let's try to submit this code and two cases are failing let's see why they are failing it is not actually showing us the test cases let's let's try to figure out where we are making mistake we are making mistake here instead of this left it is going to be right so this is the thing that if you copy something just remember to you know change the values correctly now it is going to pass all the test cases okay we are just passing all the test cases so with this i hope the code was clear to you all let's let's do let's let's meet in the next video so thank you for this video